They might mm-hmm. be just good people. You might see them hustling everywhere, and everywhere for two years straight. You know what I mean? They might they, they might not just be musically good. No, you know I feel what I'm you. I feel you. What you think, Lou Dime? Uh, you know, I think um, I'm looking at it. I, I I agree with what he's saying, and but I also look at it like I be saying compared to where we was at. I feel, I, I feel like we are in one of the greatest positions we've been as far as musically, because. For example, like you got you got fam right here writing, you know what I mean for famous people. Yeah, you of got, course. You got Bobby Sessions writing for uh, famous people. You know you got uh, Jay White did it doing stuff. Yeah, Juju on the you know you got all these people in the city actually making some some hella fire noise. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with Hey Man, Say Man. I got a couple of guys. Yeah, they don't need no introduction. These guys right here, man, for me, it's legend. Not only in Dallas, man, you might see, hey, the earth is they turf, man. Lou Diamond's in the building. Hey, Lil Ronnie Mother Elf is in the building. What's, What's that, going man? on, man? I'm blessed, bro. You know I mean? <laughs> y'all like this nigga be hype for nothing, just ah. What what you <laughs> man, how y'all doing, man? Good. You good? Shit, another day up on the ground. Shit. Man, you know when when no, I put facts. this when I put this together, man, as far as the uh, the the podcast, I really, to be honest with you, I be trying to break all the rules. Yeah, I don't go by the rules, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I think the rules are being taught as you go, you learning as you go. People don't know what they got. I don't know if y'all remember that movie, Facebook movie. You you remember uh, it was a, a, a social. It was Facebook, the movie Facebook. I think I seen Man, that. And 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 the boy had the movie. He had the, he had the show going. And he was like, oh, he he was like, we need to sell it. You know, they want to give him a lot of money, mm-hmm. million. He was like, no, nah, I'm not ready yet. I don't know what I got. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know what you got. Yeah. You <laughs> being real. You yeah, just trying sure. to figure out what it is, right? Mm-hmm. So you guys, man, y'all been watching Dallas for a long time, been putting in work for a long time. Both of y'all patriotic when it come down to the studio. Me, I'm just a nigga under the tree. That's what I call myself, the under the tree nigga. You know what I'm saying? I be sitting out there, man, that goes such and such. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More than that, but I... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I like to just have a natural conversation, man. Yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day, I be like trying to get the right people with me and say, hey, man, what's up with this? What's up with that? But where do y'all see music? And any one of y'all can answer this. In Dallas, like, how do y'all feel the music and the, and the whole vibe is right now in Dallas as uh, far as uh, the the grind? And, you know, holiday season is coming up. I feel like it's personally, it's re Okay. Like, it always re like, every five, six years. Every five, six years. Yeah, and I feel like it's re them right now. Um, you know, we got a bunch of new young stars coming up and out of there. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like it's re and it's just more so about us seeing them, like, you know what I mean? Like you said, us being the, the older the older dudes doing it, just, just seeing the youngsters that look like they're potentially going to be here. Because yeah. one thing about it is everybody don't be here. Everybody do it. Everybody jump in and try it, but when you look to your left and your right in five years, a lot of people be back at FedEx. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's crazy, but it's real. You know, a lot of times people have a good run. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. Unc walked it out. You know what I'm saying? But that was it. Mm-hmm. it. It's been a few like that that you might see them, hey. But I ain't even talking about them. See, it's a world of people that, don't even get records, but they can't just even get a big one. They might be mm-hmm. just good people. You might see them hustling everywhere, and everywhere for two years straight. You know what I mean? They might they, they might not just be musically good. No, you know I feel what I'm you. Saying? I feel you. What you think, Lou Dot? Uh, you know, I think um, I'm looking at it. I, I I agree with what he's saying, and but I also look at it like I be saying compared to where we was at. I feel, I, I feel like we are in one of the greatest positions we've been as far as musically, because. For example, like you got you got fam right here writing, you know what I mean for famous people. Yeah, you of got, course. You got Bobby Sessions writing for uh, famous people. You know you got uh, Jay White did it doing stuff. Yeah. Juju on the, you know you got all these people in the city actually making some some hella fire noise, some stuff that it may have been happening back then, but I wasn't seeing it. And I wasn't connected to knowing like what was really happening. But now to see it's multiple people, not just one holding it down. It's like man, you know it's in a it's. I see us in a great state. Uh, it got a, it's, we had a very great position. We have a good opportunity. How, but you know how, what I'm how, how different is the tangible world versus the digital world 
that we live in today where where everything is direct to consumer and because i was saying the other day like man i want to you know i remember that time we nigga handle nigga this and give me this and i'm moving on from the car or i'm moving on from the you know what i'm saying i'm at the club in the front man it's, giving out this and that be honest bro still like that still like that the only reason i said i'm just speaking it just switched it might not be the physical disc now it might be merch you know what i okay, mean or okay it might be something else where they can get to the digital you know what i mean mm -hmm. like so that hand in hand still there people still want to touch you people still want to be there and buy from you they want to support you know what i mean because i didn't i didn't have people come to me and be like man i ain't buying that shit off the internet i don't know if that's going to you yeah Let yeah yeah something from you like for real you know that's that, that's wild that's wild because because people still feel good to get something from you and mm -hmm. i told you last time when pimpin ken was here how he come in here with them damn dvds i told you i didn't bought i bought it, a few yeah. of pimpin ken the same one right now yeah just because i'm supporting mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah. you came and be like e man like if you just showed up today and like e man i got this new CD nigga I'm selling it for such and such I'm gonna buy it yeah cause it's respect mm -hmm. and that's the way a lot of y'all fans is cause that's the way y'all they're programmed yeah and I think a lot of times we miss it because we so caught up and in tune with what's going on now that we forget about the yesterdays but they still are prevalent but see the digital see where, where a lot of people get caught up in this digital world you know they don't think they gotta leave the house no more you know yeah. what I'm saying cause there's so many people blowing up right there on their couch so you know, they don't think they got to get on the road and go. Like you said, we used to have to get in the car. These folks ain't hear about you till you was in front of them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, I for sure did that. And every chilling circuit, like, push one way in, one way out. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? And, and nigga, you hope you don't say the wrong thing because this they town. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you in a small towns and that, like, it's so many towns out here that people don't understand that. Like, what I always try to tell the young artists, like, Everybody can't be Drake. Yeah, yeah. It's it's different levels. Like, like you can't say you not a podcaster because you don't have this many millions. Like, yeah, no, nah, yeah. he do it. It's just he do it on a different level. Correct, far, correct. It's the same way with promoters. Yep. Pro promoters might not have fifty k to get money bag, yo. But they but they got it. five to get loot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They got five to get me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just you want to be getting something. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.